Hi guys, welcome back to the Coal Factory. It's Raquel. Today's video is going to be an updated video on my hair story. I'm going to share with you guys where I started and where I currently am now on my hair journey. And I just hope that you guys are sitting down with the snack, something really nice to drink, and join me as I share my story with you. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just going to start from 2013. And it was in 2013 that I kind of had an epiphany. I was laying on the couch and um, at that time I was living in a Middle Eastern country called Oman. And I was, you know, working and living there. And I was laying on the couch and it kind of hit me like, Raquel, you used to have curly hair. I sat up on the couch and I was like, Google, help me out. Like, why isn't my hair curling right now? So I grabbed my computer and I started typing things into the search engine like my hair used to be curly and I've shared some pictures of my hair damaged hair on Facebook as well as Instagram but you know before I even go any further I just want to give a shout out to a South African brand I'm wearing their t-shirt today and I thought that this was just an absolutely fabulous t-shirt to wear and I'm going to show it to you it says confident curly and courageous and I'm going to leave the details in the description box down below I absolutely love this brand I love the quality and I love the apparel that they're bringing to the community and so while googling something called transitioning popped up and then my search went into what is transitioning i was watching a lot of youtube videos something you guys don't know about me is i watch a lot of youtube um my youtube watching isn't just the natural hair community i watch a lot of things including international news so from transitioning things like the big chop popped up but not much information wash day routines popped up and there was so much information I didn't know whether I was coming or going and even though I was living in a Middle Eastern country where people do have curly hair there were no natural hair products in the stores nothing about curly hair at all so upon researching I figured out that transitioning was the first step so I kind of focused all of my energy efforts and research into that and I started transitioning on the spot I spend hours on the internet guys my research into getting where I am today has been research that I've conducted and spent so much of time on and when I say research I conduct conducted I don't mean primary research I just kind of mean me reading and absorbing and you know just informing myself so once I understood that transitioning was me growing out my hair and keeping the new hair growth healthy and then letting you know all the damaged hair continue to grow out and eventually cutting it off I thought okay I need to transition what product should I use while I was transitioning I used Carol's Daughter so me and Carol's Daughter go way back to 2013 I've used most of the line from Carol's Daughter currently I don't use Carol's Daughter anymore but that's just kind of like a personal preference at that particular point when it came to natural hair products the stuff that we're using today just wasn't available I also had to buy them online and get them shipped internationally so from that point on guys, I figured out that I need to shampoo my hair with the sulfate free shampoo. I needed to deep condition and then I needed to style my hair and seal it with an oil. And that's where I was for like seven months. After seven months, I was so excited to do my big chop. I wasn't afraid necessarily to do my big chop. The reason I transitioned was because that was kind of the information that I had at the moment and I thought okay I can do this. Over the seven months I did cut my hair every month. I cut off little by little as the months went by because I knew that um, this hair has to go and I also understood that my new growth needs to stay as healthy as possible so I, I didn't use any heat and I developed a very simple wash day routine. So while I was transitioning, what did I do with my hair? I wore my hair in a bun every single day. I went to work with a bun, my hair was always pulled back. And even after I big chop, I still wore my hair in a bun for a while. But while transitioning, I was just so into the research and I knew that I just need to leave my hair alone. So I just pulled it back in a bun every single day. I didn't brush the front of my hair. I learned to just use a wide tooth comb and kind of start embracing the imperfections at that point because I knew that this is my new growth and I don't want to damage it. My mom did my big chop. I gave her a bit of guidance um, in terms of 
where to cut and the line of demarcation where my curls were and then where the straight hair ended and I did my big chop and I was so excited. The products that I used to style my hair for my big chop was Dr. Miracles. And once I did the big chop, that's where my struggles really came in. Because you guys see me today, I've met a few of you in person, you see my videos. But I really had struggles and this video isn't an easy video for me to make. Whenever I talk about my hair journey, I do get emotional in a very weird way. And even now, I'm kind of stopping in between because I'm tearing up. But I'm going to keep it together as much as I can because this is a personal journey for me. This isn't a trend. It isn't something that I'm doing because, oh, look at her hair. This is genuinely a passion that I have and something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy embracing my natural hair and sharing my journey with you guys. So the two major struggles that I had was length and it was acceptance. And I'm going to start off with acceptance first because this was the hardest for me personally. I had gotten to a point where I knew that healthy hair was important and I was not going to compromise the health of my hair. So from that standpoint, I was going to continue on my journey. But I didn't think my hair was going to look the way it looks now. But when I say how it looks now, I mean after the big chop. Um, I have uh, kinky hair, my hair doesn't clump, it doesn't curl the way other girls curls curl and we can all relate to that. We all think our hair is going to look a certain way and then it doesn't. So accepting the type of curls that I have took a while, it didn't happen overnight and it didn't take um, a few months. It really is a journey and it was part of my journey and then what happened was my shrinkage got to me in a way guys that you won't even believe I thought that I would have a lot of length but you know it's 2000 the end of 2019 that I'm filming this video and I'm gonna post it in 2020 but this is five years in the making um, but back when I got the big chop and my hair just did this um, and I knew from my research that my curls need to look like a telephone line. The tighter and kinkier they are, the healthier they are. So one part of my mind is like, look while your hair is really healthy. And the other part is like, look how short it is. So accepting the shrinkage was the hardest part of my journey for me. And that then led me to go on another journey, which was a, a length journey growing out my hair. I was desperate. If you could meet me back then I was literally obsessed with length and it wasn't even funny guys I did everything and I have a video on my channel on like how to grow your hair waist length and I've reached that goal but I was obsessed for two years straight two years of my journey I, I knew what a wash day routine was I could do that no problem but I was obsessed with this length because my hair refused to make me be great all it wanted to do was just shrink and as I said earlier even after I big chopped I kept my hair in a bun and so from transitioning to big chopping I would say I really started embracing my hair I would say two and a half to three years ago so I was on my natural hair journey for like over two years and I hadn't really gotten to a point of breakthrough in the acceptance of my hair so if you are on your journey and you've just started and you're having a whole lot of problems and you're watching everybody on YouTube and you're not happy with your hair I'm just here to tell you that yes I, I was there as well I was watching all these girls on YouTube but my hair just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do and I'm also going to share with you guys how it is that I managed to get on camera and actually start sharing my journey with you guys so going back to when I finally started embracing my hair, at that point I had the wash day routine down, I was already playing with products, I was buying a lot of products internationally, getting them shipped uh, to myself, I was still in the Middle East as well. And I'm um, really just focused on my hair journey, washing my hair without fail every week and deep conditioning it. And my hair was growing and I was doing limb checks because I was absolutely obsessed. Um, watch my video on how to grow your, your hair waist length. I did everything. The research that I did um, was just, you know, a lot. And then I got to a point where I literally burned myself out. I was burnt out from, from all of this 
taking biotin and massaging my scalp with oil and I just said enough I'm done and it was from that moment on which was about two and a half years ago that I actually really started enjoying my hair and the curl factory is two years old and it was after then or, or after that point in time that you know I had gotten so many questions from family and friends and Facebook and stuff and just asking about your hair and I was like you know what I'm gonna start the curl factory um, but even getting its name and stuff uh, I think very fondly and how it all began and even up until today with the curl factory being two years and, and it's growing it's growing slowly but it's growing because I have quality uh, people as part of the curl factory family and I'm grateful for you guys and I'm thankful for you guys because you are now on this part of my journey with me so now where I am guys as part of my um, natural hair journey is I do have a wash day routine I do try out new products my hair is still growing I do need to get a bit of a shape going on um, I haven't cut my hair in six months it's my fault I usually cut my hair every four months religiously but due to unforeseen circumstances um, revolving around my life at the moment because I am in South Africa I just haven't gotten around to getting my hair trimmed but I am still taking care of it so my journey right now is still taking care of my hair I'm filming videos I've got the courage I'm somebody who's very quiet I'm somebody who um, isn't the life of the party I'm quite reserved quite conservative as well and getting on camera was something that I never ever thought that I could ever do um, but you know what here I am and I have this passion and I have this desire to just share my knowledge what happened with me actually guys is I just had all of this knowledge built up inside of me and I needed to get it out. I needed to share and I found and I still find that sitting in front of the camera is a great way for me to just release and kind of just share and to help because you watch so many people in life and so many naturals and everybody feels like they've arrived and you looking at me and you're like, well, but I'm not where you are in your journey and I'm just here to say that's fine and that's cool but I was where you were and now my journey is just to help people who are natural men women or kids and I just share what I know because I've tried a lot of things it's been trial and error and now that the natural hair movement in South Africa has really grown we have so many products available on the shelves some might work for you some might not but I do reviews I do comparisons I do watch their tutorials and I do whatever it is that I can to just help and contribute to the community in South Africa I think I'll stop there guys. I hope you enjoyed this updated video of my hair journey. Um, the things I really struggled with was just acceptance and length. And I don't know what you're struggling with as, you know, as part of your hair journey. You know, drop it down below. Share it with me. Share it with all of us. Let's talk in the comments. Thank you so much for always watching my videos and just being part of the Curl Factory family. I really appreciate it guys and I will see you again in another video. Take care.